Hey, Ezra. Happy Friday, man. Well, I'll just do this. I want to say, you know, I really appreciate you getting in all your work on time. You're, you know, like endlessly cheery attitude. You're an excellent student, man. I really am glad that you're in class. Thank you. Yeah, you make my life easier. Just for you. That's a party doodle Friday, I see, Elliot. Chase, no party doodle from you? Okay, I see how it is. <coughs> Chase, <coughs> oh, there it is. You just did it. <laughs> yeah, I'll have you guys. Delcourt told me recently that he's having his uh, kids all say goodbye to him verbally before they leave the Zoom. And it's just the most awkward experience of his life. So I think maybe I'll have you guys party doodle on your way out. How does that work? Does everyone take turns? Yeah, everyone takes a turn and says goodbye to Mr. Delcourt, and then they're allowed to log off of Zoom, or else he takes points away. My bet, honestly, it's a foundations level course. My bet is that he's just making sure that they're still on the Zoom by the end of the course. You know? I guess that he should do it randomly during the Zoom then, like <laughs> as a surprise, to oh. say that they're there. <laughs> No, it's that that would be just as awkward for him. Uh, it's probably just as awkward for him anyway. I guess it's probably no less awkward now that I've said it out loud. Oh, this year, brutal. But I got my first dose today. Oh, I can't show you. I'd have to take my shirt off. But I got my first dose of the vaccine today. So hopefully, I'll be able to at least hybrid teach by the time you guys are maybe senior citizens. <clears throat> Okay, who are, we, who are we missing? Griffin's here. Jenna. Did the vaccine hurt a lot? Or it was just like, eh, normal? The needle? The needle was just a little, it was just a really fine gauge needle. It was not very intimidating. The, the injection site is a little sore, but my understanding is that I'm going to have like quasi symptoms for the weekend and then I should be feeling right as rain by Monday. My daughter is sick too, however, so my guess is I'm going to catch whatever she just had, so I'm going to feel doubly crappy over the weekend. It's good, though. It'll, it'll make me, and hopefully uh, I'll be right as rain by Monday from both of those things. Eat a lot of meat. It helps you. The meat and borscht? The meat and borscht, yes. Meat. A lot of A lot of iron. Beets are great for you. You can eat the mm -hmm. whole vegetable. Underrated. Underrated. I know, right? Cabbage, too, I guess. Cabbage is not super underrated, though. There's not a lot of stuff in cabbage. Pretty much just water. Not as bad I feel as... Like vegetables in general are quite underrated for some reason. And that's so sad. It do taste good. Right, they're not like <laughs> they're not the tastiest food item out there. No, I mean of course, like some sweets are like pizza will be tastier, but like vegetables actually are not that bad. Like if you know how to make salads, which like spices to add, or like how just to how to combine those veggies together, they can be the most amazing thing on earth. Yeah, it's a bit more of a craft. You know, you got to really put effort into making those veggies tasty. Whereas pizza, you just kind of like, oh, dough and cheese and, and red sauce. And you're and it's delicious. Cheese. Actually, if you just add cheese to anything, that's my opinion. It tastes delicious. Take that to the bank. Because I know how much you guys... Add are. cheese into your coffee. All right. The exception makes the rule. Um, that was a challenge. <laughs> um, all right maybe when i see you we can each have coffee cheese together we'll we'll cheers it okay who who am i missing here alia oh, and kevin of course anybody else griffin jenna are you guys in school today proper uh, in person um, no. I'm in school. Nice. So you guys swapped on me. Okay. 
Angela, Sophia, Lisa, Dawn, Danny, Leo. Oh, wait, is Xander here? Oh, whoa, I think this is the first day Xander's missed all year. Okay. In person. Okay, so like I said um, in the agenda for today, my thought is, you know, we, we look at practice test um, B, E and we look at the free response questions. We go over whatever questions that you guys might have on those two assignments. Outside of that, I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms and hopefully you'll have done practice one and two. Those are, those are I think, the essential ones. And if you needed Hess's law practice, there's Hess's law, um, which is practice three. But really, you know, I think that the, the free response, like I've said in the past, are kind of the, the culmination of each of these, of each of these units. I'm hoping that we have a significant amount of April to do review. Reviews are nice because on the free response in the actual exam, they're going to be using ideas from every unit in each of their free response questions. That's part of the difficulty that I have in finding uh, free response questions that you, for you guys. Um, as you guys have seen in the past, I'm um, like, do A and then C and then E, F, and G, skip K and go all the way to the end of the alphabet after that. So, you know, know that as we gather those skills, I'm, I might start asking you questions using those skills on the free response questions on the exams. So it is a cumulative class. And I guess what I'm saying is to just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. All right, so that first section is all about kind of the different types of energy and and kind of what they measure. The next is about kind of how we measure those energies. Um, are there any questions therein with that vocabulary? I have question nine to go over it in class, so we'll go, we'll do that together. Are there any questions that you guys have specifically that I should go over before I kind of get to the ones I have checked in here? Okay, so let's start with question nine then. A voltaic based uh, on the reaction above was constructed from zinc and copper half cells. So that means that my two solutions have zinc and copper ions in one molarity, right? Because it says right here that the, um, that the potential is standard, right? So the initial molarities of those oh, the observed voltage is found to be 120 where the potential is generally 110. Which of the following could correctly account for this observation? So what we're saying is, what could actually make the voltage increase from this scenario? You guys remember this from Electro? This is that Nernst equation we talked very briefly about um, in this, where we could we could solve for Gibbs at any temperature given the Nernst equation, or right? it's a, a very similar you know similar equation except we substitute Gibbs for um, volt, for electrostatic potential for that um, electron potential. So what are we looking for here? What we want is we start out with one and one, right? So that this would be zero. But as this number, um, as, as, our, as so when we have a negative exponent up here, right? When we've got a, a, a number that is less than one, right? If our Q ends up being less than one, what does that mean? That means that we're going to go down, right? That this number that our ln Q is going to be a negative number um, so if we're less than one, then when we take the natural log, we're going to have a negative of a negative. So we're going to increase the voltage. Why would that be? If we're thinking about this voltage in terms of our Q, 
right? And our Q means uh, if it's less than one, if, if our reactants are bigger than our products, right? That means that this number is going to go down and that this number is gonna go up for us to reach our equilibrium. If that's true, that means that we're going to be generating products. That means that um, in this electrochemical reaction, in this, um, in this spontaneous reaction, right? That means that we're gonna be generating more product. That means we're gonna have more electricity than we thought we did. We're gonna have more voltage than we thought we did. So when we look up here, the zinc solution, uh, excuse me, the electrolyte was 0.5 of zinc and 0.1 of copper. Does this make sense to everybody? Do you guys remember this? Am I just chatting into the void? Kind of feels that way. Makes sense. Okay, thank you. Then moving on. Calcium iodide has the enthalpy of solution. Uh, so this is the enthalpy as it dissolves. So we're talking about this reaction here. As the enthalpy of solution of negative 104 kilojoules per mole, which of the following is probably true when calcium iodide is dissolved in water? Remember that whenever you have the enthalpy of solution, you're talking about three steps. The first step is the you know dissolution of the lattice energy, right? So we've got a we got a, a positive enthalpy to we have to invest energy here to break the lattice energy. Then we've got to um, invest energy when we're splitting apart water molecules. Right, the only time that we're going to have a negative and change in enthalpy is when we have the ion dipole interaction. Let's make this a colored one so that we know. Right, the ion dipole interaction is going to be the only time where we're actually gaining energy out of our system because our, our overall energy ends up being negative here. We have to say that the you know breaking up that crystal structure, that lattice energy is less energy than the solvation of the ions, that is to dissolve those ions. Good. It was kind of like the last question on the uh, practice, excuse me, the second lab. I think there was one more that I wanted to talk about with you guys. Maybe it was 19. Nope. Hmm. I don't remember which one, but um, just like last time, I, I've tried my best to kind of organize these into uh, uh, kind of a, a different sets of information. So, you know, if you, if it's a vocabulary, it's a green, if it's, you know, comparing the uh, Delta G to our equilibrium expression or our E cell, then it's that red color. Um, if it's the Gibbs free energy equation is blue, yada, 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 yada. You guys dig this? So you can go through here. Um, I'm going to post this up after all, and you guys can go through here and kind of look to those categories to make sure that you feel comfortable about each one of those. All right. Any questions on the free response section? Leo, you don't have like the hardest one on here that I, you know, should read the question beforehand before I do it this time. Um, I. I didn't knew we had to do that. I thought it was due like next. <laughs> so it's due Monday. It is. I said I said it is due Monday on there. Um, oh, so so yeah. I don't mean to. I didn't mean to pick on you, but uh, <laughs> I guess then if if you guys have not done this, then take some time. You know, uh, the the major key for this is up, or uh, rather, this key is already uploaded on there. So take some time. You know, look at it, and if you guys need to hit me up over the weekend, the sooner the better. Or I think um, I might, maybe I'll make myself available a little bit of time on Sunday, maybe Sunday afternoon. Um, if you guys want a Zoom chat, send me an email, and we can go over it then. Unless unless anybody else has any specific questions on here. Okay, does anybody have any questions on practice one, two, or three? Does anybody have questions about lab one or two? Any questions on the data for lab one or two? Any clarification 
regarding this chapter, before I let you guys kind of work on these pre-response questions, you can pull me into your breakout rooms individually, um, but that you think that the, the class might hold, right? If you've got a question about this topic in general, the class probably will have it to somebody else at least. Okay, so I'm going to send you guys into breakout rooms. Um, like I said, I've uploaded all the keys to all that stuff. So maybe take this time to check your work, or if there's some stuff that you still haven't gotten in, that's, you know, obviously that's fine. Get into me as soon as you can. Um, don't forget about your, your unit D corrections. I just went to, to put those grades in and I noticed that I didn't have a lot of those. So if you've got the time, maybe sometime this weekend, get your unit D corrections in. Outside of that, here are breakout rooms. Um, anybody want to hang out with other people in the class? Send me a chat now and I can uh, put you guys in the breakout rooms together. Okay, and obviously you're welcome to hang out here with me. If you guys want to do that, that's chill too. I'll be here the, the whole time. 